Northbound Expeditions is brought to you in part by Fairview Jeep, a Fredericton's number one Jeep dealer. Sites here, tables, fire rings, and shelters.
Might be a nice spot during the off season when no one else is here. Straight out of the driveway onto a trail. That's pretty neat. It's a great location. So it's nine degrees out, but the wind is absolutely freezing. So down by the lake here. Uh, so the plan is definitely not to camp on any body of water because it'll be just too cold. The woods should give us some shelter and um, hopefully no bugs. All right, this looks like it's time to go in four wheel drive. Idea yet where we'll can I'll drive for getting on the trail quickly if we even can. Oh, that's perfect. This is basically a completely open uh, weekend adventure. See what it brings, see what, how the mood strikes, play everything by ear. Yeah, I think we might have overloaded it a little, overloaded it a little bit. <laughs> and I think that bump just probably showed Ooh, the uh, it, it ripped, uh, it ripped the, uh, the, the, oh, straps. the straps. the yeah. straps. Right. We definitely put too much wood in that. Well, now you know what the load limit on wood <laughs> is. Uh, this was way too much. That's too much, yeah. Spencer, open that side compartment, please, and we'll put the wood in there. And then we'll make some uh, adjustments. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was that bump. Must have just ripped it right down. I like to push the limits a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Still salvage it by just swing them around. Well, you can definitely shorten them down quite a bit, like all the way down to here. Yeah. That's what I do. There Good you go. as new. Different type of trail fix. <laughs> <laughs> Works. It's all we needed. All momentum, my son. There you go. Yeah, left looks like a dead end. Kind of. Snowmobile trail goes left and then it comes in through and let's go left. It's more fun left. 
I've been through it before, I think. Okay, yeah, I see where it is now. Yeah, let's go left then, sure. Yeah, I thought it was this one here. I saw them. Just missed them though. Two big moose. Does the trail on the left go somewhere? It does. It basically just dead ends in someone's driveway. Oh, okay.
lights. GPS is not moving again. I think it's on the left here, but my GPS is actually not moving. Oh, okay, it just caught up. Yeah, it's on the left here. Definitely hasn't been traveled. I mean, actually there's recent tire tracks on there, so that's a good sign. But other than that, it's not a heavily traveled trail. And it looks like truck tires too, but a tread pattern. And of course, I found the overgrowth. So it wouldn't be an MBX trip without pinstriping. I always find the overgrown trails. It's my natural talent. Alright, although this one here I will cut down, it is a bit big and it could leave a big scratch. Yeah, if I want to take down these ones here maybe. Yeah. It's just too much fun. <laughs> Back, I love cutting trees. I did this as a kid. Up until right now, there was no bugs. And then just now chopping down his uh, branches here, the mosquitoes just came out in full force. So hopefully we get a little bit of a breeze, but not too much wind well, wherever we're going. Actually, it looks like it could be a good spot. The water right there. It's grassy here. And uh, it's actually an opening here. Ooh, this could be really cool. And there used to be a bridge here. Oh, check this out. What? I mean, yeah, this is a cool spot. That gets a flat, grassy area. It's on the edge of the water. There used to be a bridge here. So this is pretty cool. Some sort of a bridge or a dam or something. Yeah, it looks like uh, more of a dam than a bridge because it's not very wide. It's not wide enough for a bridge. It's only wide enough for a dam. There's a, a foundation wall and then there's these beams here. Weird. It's not this a valley. Probably, this is a fish ladder, right? And that's fish ladder, yeah, so the fish don't go through. Or to catch them, I don't know. I to control the level of the water but still let the fish through. At one point. 
Yeah, a dam that either never got used or doesn't get used anymore. I mean, normally a dam is kind of where there's a valley, so it can actually be flooded, right? And I, I don't see a valley to be flooded. No, I don't know what they, why they weren't. And it's breezy enough to keep the mosquitoes out away, and not so windy that it's unbearable. No, this might be a good spot. I think this is a good spot. Yeah, I like the other spot that we drove by. The gravel pit right there on the turn? Yeah. No. <laughs> not the gravel pit. There's, remember? I'm going to have to get my other lens on, my zoom lens, but this is an eagle's nest on the power line there, and the uh, eagle just flew into it. We don't have the NS. But this is as close as I can zoom in. This is where the trail stops right here for the little bridge dam thing, whatever it is, and then it does not continue. And so it came down from over there, down the power line, and then the trail that came over out from the, the woods on the right. It is a sausage party. Where are the women, Spencer? Oh my god, Dad, you're disgusting. How come we didn't bring salmon? Uh, salmon. Clifford? Well, I'm pretty sure he's not a woman. I mean, Papa. Oh, what happened to my master? That's weird. <laughs> I told you. I thought I thought you forgot about it and he was like someone else. Yeah, I left the master for home. What? Sorry, Spencer. No, it's just up oh. It's like they were just it holding it. We opened it, it's just off the my Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? I've never really seen one, but I've seen eagles flying around the lake. Where are we built the fire? Uh, 
Okay, so the wood pellets are ignited by a hot rod, and then the hot rod uh, obviously ignites the pellets and controls the burn. There's a convection fan that feeds the fire, just like you blowing on a campfire. Temperature probe reads back here to your desired temperature, and away you go. Allison is uh, 
gonna cook breakfast for his mother and his wife and his family um, and uh, I'll be heading home and I'll be giving my mother a call as well so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there you're doing an amazing job My GPS um, signal is not showing me where we are on the map right now. I mean, I know where we are right now, but um, it's not actually indicating the location yet. So, might be a bit playing it by ear, but I think if you go north through some of these trails here, then we'll be on the Woodstock, um, Woodstock to St. Stephen Trail. Actually, wait, no, there's Benton. No, that's right. It will be pretty, qu pretty quickly to Benton from here. Yeah, let's do that, and uh, you could go left here when we hit the Benton Road, and I'll go right. Alright, I'll just grab the radio from you before we depart, and then we're good to go. Sounds good.